In this screencast lecture, we will try to understand about the different types of secretory system that are operating there in the bacteria, especially two step involving secretion system. That is the first step is related to translocation aided with the help of sec protein or tat protein followed by the next secretory system. Under this category, type 5 secretion system, type 2 secretion system and type 9 secretion systems were existing. Among these different secretion system, the type 5 secretion systems are mechanistically simpler forms that are involved in the export of the protein from periplasm through a barrel structure into the outer membrane of the bacteria. The barrel may be either a part of the protein being translocated or a separate polypeptide that is co-expressed and co-translocated to the periplasm region. With the barrel or with the barrel domain, a lot of chaperone proteins will be available that may help in the folding. Among the various kind of proteins that are secreted by the T5 secretion systems are proteases type that are involved in virulence and adhesion properties that mediate the attachment of bacterial cell to the substrates. The next one is a type 2 secretion system which are commonly found in the proteobacterial group of bacteria that is in the gram negative dominant groups of bacteria. A bacterial cell may have multiple type 2 secretion system each may be dedicated to secretion of one or few proteins. The type 2 secretion systems are anchored in both membranes that is in the cytoplasmic membrane as well as in the outer membrane complexes and the two membrane complexes are connected with the help of pseudopilus. Thus the proteins for secretion enter from the periplasm and the pseudopilus acts like a piston that helps in pushing the protein through the outer membrane. The kind of proteins that are secreted through the type 2 secretion systems include degradative enzymes such as proteases, lipases and cellulases. The mechanism by which the type 2 secretion system synthesize in a bacteria are initiated by the quorum sensing mechanism. That is, when a population of bacteria build in a locality or habitat and that particular population need a special enzyme for their functioning. That enzyme synthesis and secretion related systems will be expressed by the mechanism of quorum sensing. And the last one under this category is the type 9 secretion system. They have a very narrow or limited phylogenetic distribution. That is only few groups of bacteria found to house this particular secretion system. Say for example, members of the bacteroidetes. They express this secretion system for secreting the gliding motility related proteins there in their cell. The classical one is the secretion of gliding motility related protein there in the flavobacterium. Another example is secretion of the virulence related proteases enzyme in the dental pathogen Porphyromonas is effected through this type 9 secretion systems. These proteins are first translocated with the help of the sex system and they are getting folded there in the periplasm and further a C-terminal peptide tag of the protein that defines that particular protein need to be localized or transported to the outer membrane region. When it moves to the outer membrane, a special enzyme called sortase removes the signal peptide and attach this protein to the lipid, especially to the lipopolysaccharides. Now, we look at the details of the one-step secretion systems. Here, there won't be any involvement of the sec translocator or tat translocator. Directly, secretion process will be effected by the systems. First, we look at the points related to the type 1 secretion system. It is one of the simplest one-step secretion system that have been present there in the bacteria. Several types of type 1 secretion systems were present to export the different proteins produced there in the bacteria. Proteins exported by the type 1 secretory system include the S-layer subunit. This S-layer can be seen in the gram-positive, gram-negative and also dominantly in the archaeal group of bacteria. Apart from that, certain degradative enzymes and proteins involved there in the pathogenesis process are all exported with the help of the type 1 secretion system. Each type 1 secretion system found to have 
three different components that aids in the export. The first one is a ABC that is a ATP binding cassette protein which acts as a transporter there in the plasma membrane. Next, a membrane fusion protein that bridges the periplasm and a barrel structure that spans till the outer membrane of the bacteria. Here, the ABC component protein involved in the export is specific for a particular substrate, whereas outer membrane barrel is common to multiple or different types of type 1 secretory system that have been operating there in a bacteria. These three components assemble only when the substrate binds to the ABC transporter system. Next, we look at the points related to the type 3 secretion system. It is also referred as a injectosomes or molecular syringes, which are commonly used by the pathogenic bacteria to inject proteins directly into the eukaryotic host cells. The injected proteins are called effector protein and they promote pathogenesis by altering the cell's cytoskeleton signal transduction pathways and other cellular process may also altered by those proteins. Type 3 secretion systems are composed of dozens of protein that extends through all the three membranes that includes plasma membrane, outer membrane of the bacteria and the host cell membrane. Evolutionary if you look at the type 3 secretory system is related to the flagellum basal plate and the energy for this process is derived both from the proton motive force and ATP. Sometimes proteins that are secreted by the type 3 secretory system include the distal portion of the proteins of the type 3 secretion system itself. Next we look at the points related to the type 4 secretion systems. Most commonly used for DNA transfer although some have been dedicated for the secretion of DNA protein complex or protein into the cells. They evolved from the conjugation machinery that is used to transfer the DNA. Like the type 3 secretion system, this one is also involved in the direct transfer of the DNA into the cytoplasm of another cell. Assembly of the type 4 secretory system is believed to occur at the cell poles. It includes integral membrane protein that have been housed in the two membranes that is in the plasma membrane as well as in the outer membrane. ATP is present there in the cytoplasm provides energy for the process and a piling is also produced. However, the effect of secretion definitely require the presence of the host cell that is it attached to the target cell membrane and transfers the DNA. Next, we look at the points related to type 6 secretion systems. They are also referred as a contractile weapons that are used by the bacteria to deliver the toxins to the nearby cells. It can be even intrabacterial that is to kill the other bacteria and the toxin may also deliver that to the eukaryotic cells. The type 6 secretion system is homologically similar to that of the bacteriophage T4 cell penetration apparatus. Thus, it is composed of a base plate in the plasma membrane and a membrane spanning complex there in the periplasm. Two concentric cylindrical structures, an outer sheath and an inner tube form in the cytoplasm and then they dock into the membrane complex. In response to contact signal, the inner tube is ejected, puncturing the target cell and delivering multiple diverse effector protein to the target cell cytoplasm. Related bacteria have immunity proteins and they are not usually affected by the secretory toxin. Thus, a population of related cells can dominate in a niche. A clear example here is with the case of the Vibrio cholerae. Chitin that have been present in the aquatic environment may be a preferred nutrient for this group of organisms. However, in that environment, the Vibrio cholerae also compete with other bacteria and predatory amoeba, so thereby delivering this particular toxin via the type 6 secretion system, it can able to kill the other related bacteria and even the amoeba. Thereby, it gets an ecological advantage there. Same is the case of the human ingesting the Vibrio cholerae cells. So, when Vibrio cholerae have been ingested from the contaminated water, it is again the same T6 secretory system that helps in injecting the toxin inside the host, mainly to compete there with the gut microbiome. And this results in the establishment of this particular pathogen and can successfully able to cause the infection. That results in the 
cholera fever in the host. The last tech secretory system under this one step process is the type 7 secretory system which is initially described in the mycobacterium. Although these organisms are considered as a gram positive, they found to have certain unique cell envelope which comprised of plasma membrane and outer membrane that features the mycolic acid. The protein secretion across both this membrane necessitates the formation of secretion system in this organism. Thus, mycobacterium tuberculosis uses the type 7 secretory system to deliver important virulence factors to the host immune cells. Other gram positive bacteria were also found to have related secretion systems. For example, Staphylococcus aureus have a related type 7 secretory system that is required for the secretion of virulence and the establishment of the persistence infections there in the host. Apart from protein secretion, these type 7 secretory systems are also play a role in DNA transfer, cell envelope integrity maintenance, sporulation, metal uptake and competition for the nutrients.